and to details. President Abdel Fattah Sisi and visiting South Korean counterpart Moon Jae-in held summit talks in Cairo on Thursday, which tackled bilateral ties in addition to a number of issues of mutual concern. The two leaders also witnessed signing agreements and memoranda of understanding in the fields of industry and trade, as well as a document on a loan for upgrading Egypt's railway lines with a value of $251 million. The details. President Abdel Fattah Sisi received South Korean President Mo Jae-in at Al Ittihadiyah Palace on Thursday. An official reception was held to welcome the South Korean President, where the two leaders walked by the guards of honor and national anthem music of both Egypt and South Korea were played. Addressing a joint press conference following their talks, President Sisi said the talks with South Korean leader tackled boosting cooperation between the two countries. President Sisi expressed his appreciation to the active joint cooperation that witnessed lately a remarkable leap during the recent years. The head of state also expressed Egypt's desire for pushing technological cooperation with Seoul, especially with moving to the new administrative capital. The president spoke about creating the right environment to attract South Korean investments across various fields in Egypt. He said Egypt is keen on sharing views with South Korea on issues of mutual concern and boosting cooperation to achieve mutual interests. For his part, the South Korean president hailed the historic Egyptian-South Korean relations and said that they had agreed on boosting sustainable development partnership and cooperation in the field of clean energy. He stressed the significance of enhancing bilateral cooperation to support Egyptian vision aiming at entering Egypt the fourth industrial revolution. Moon talked about Egypt's support for a quick return to dialogue the Korean Peninsula to reach peace between the two Koreas. Meanwhile, the two leaders witnessed signing agreements and memoranda of understanding in the fields of industry and trade. Moreover, President Sisi and South Korean's President Moon witnessed signing a document on a loan for upgrading Egypt's railway lines with a value of $251 million. Officials at a South Korean-Egyptian roundtable discussed green-friendly transportation and the possibility of manufacturing electric cars in Egypt for export purposes. Cleaner energy had also come up in Moon's two other stops during his Middle East tour, but included stops in Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates. Egypt is the last leg of Moon's Middle East tour. During his visit to Saudi Arabia, a delegation led by South Korea's president inked a preliminary deal to explore a project to develop a potentially cleaner form of energy. On Monday, Moon vowed that his fossil fuel dependent country and the UAE would jointly expand their investments in renewable energy to tackle climate change. South Korea's President Moon Jae in historic visit to Egypt on Thursday signals a turning point in relations between the two countries, which comes within the comprehensive partnership agreement signed between the two countries during President Il Sisi's visit to Seoul in 2016. The South Korean President's visit to Egypt is the first in 16 years and marks st strong political and economic relations binding the two countries. Details in the following report. South Korea's President Moon Jae-in's visit to Egypt on Thursday signals a turning point in relations between the two countries. Such an important visit is the first to Egypt by a South Korean president in 16 years. President Moon's visit comes within the comprehensive partnership agreement signed between the two countries during President El Sisi's visit to Seoul in 2016. Moreover, Egypt is the first African country President Moon visits during his presidential term. South Korea considers Egypt a center of gravity for business and politics in the Middle East and Africa. South Korea and Egypt's strategic partnership in 2016 has played a pivotal role in advancement of relationship between the two countries with special regard to the rate of trade exchange. Minister of Trade and Industry Nivin Gama highlighted that the rate of exchange between the two countries increased by 46.9% from January to October in 2021, reaching $1.89 billion. The trade exchange between Egypt and South Korea includes oil products, granite, zinc, as well as machines and equipment. 
Egypt exports to South Korea market saw an increase of 62.3% in 2021. South Korea is one of Egypt's most important trading partners. Furthermore, South Korea is looking forward to expanding cooperation with Egypt in the pharmaceutical and health sectors as Egypt aims to become a regional center for drug manufacturing and distribution. South Korean presidential spokesman Park Young mi reiterated the importance of the relationship between Egypt and South Korea as Egypt is an international logistics hub and a base country for Korean corporate advancement in Africa. Foreign Minister Dr. Mustafa Madbouli expressed Egypt's aspiration to cooperate with different UN-concerned institutions within the framework of Egypt's preparations for the upcoming COP27 conference. Madbouli stressed the importance given by the political leadership to make this conference successful and reach best-aimed results which boosts Egypt's leadership in this vital issue and pushes international efforts in facing climate change. The Prime Minister made his statements during his meeting with Dr. Rula Dashti, the UN Under Secretary General and Executive Secretary of UN Economic and Social Commission for Western Asia, ESQA, and her accompanying delegation. For her part, Dashti said her visit stressed her support to Egypt in all fields related to ESQA's work adding that there is a positive, remarkable progress in Egypt in all fields, despite current challenges facing the whole world. She presented some initiatives through expanding cooperation with Egypt, especially concerning climate work. Meanwhile, Madbouli welcomed their proposed initiatives calling for speedy discussions on technical levels to tackle mechanisms of implementing them. And to details, Minister of Petroleum Tariq Al Mullah held a meeting on Thursday with Belgium Ambassador to Egypt and the head of Belgium Ports Authority. During the meeting, Al Mullah discussed means of fostering cooperation between Egypt and Belgium in the field of upgrading the petroleum ports and logistic services. The minister reiterated that the past period had witnesses mutual visits from both sides within the framework of the Memorandum of Understanding signed within the European Union in the field of energy. The the meeting also tackled means of boosting cooperation in training new cadres in various domains and establishing logistic zones as well as expanding their petrochemical industries. <laughs> 